Hello everybody and welcome to this week's Everton show and what a big week it is for the football club. Nothing less than a Merseyside derby at Anfield in the third round of the FA Cup. It could be a thoroughly memorable week, couldn't it? I'm delighted to be joined in the Everton show studio by Ramiro Funes Mori and by Graeme Stewart. Start with you first Funes, the most obvious question. How are you? How are you feeling? Well, of course, uh, it's, it's been ages, you know, since my injury, but uh, feeling better uh, day by day, progressing and, and feeling comfortable about uh, uh, my knee. And so hopefully everything goes, goes well to, to come back as soon as possible. Is it important to feel that you're progressing, even if it's day by day, even by small amounts? It, it must be important to feel that you're, you're on the way. Yeah, of course. I think uh, uh, it's a very long uh, term injury, so even by resting, it's it's, it's progressing. So uh, even I think the the first two months were were complicated because I had to wear crutches for two months, and then obviously you know they uh, be taking some crutches away. So uh, I think it's it's been a um, long long uh, injury, but I think uh, I've been strong in my head. So uh, hopefully soon uh, I should be back. You've been there, Graham. Yeah, been there. I was going to say to you, Funes. I mean, it's it, it's such a difficult thing to have in the back of your mind. You know that from there to get to there is such a long road. I mean, what, have the physios been great with you? Have they given you a chance to go away and freshen up and go back to Argentina, see your family, bits and pieces like that, or has it just been pure intense work? No, I think it's uh, the first two months I operated in Barcelona, so uh, I think it was a good time there with my family. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, enjoy the weather, the, the hot weather, so. I think that 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 what, that what makes it also a quick recovery because I mean I stayed there three months but it it, it was really fast so mm -hmm. uh, like you have experience with the uh, injuries so um, it's not similar but you know ACL is always similar to to what I have but I think uh, to be honest it's been fast for me all these uh, six months uh, it's gone through fast so uh, you know. I'm, I'm enjoying my time being injured in a way that uh, I'm enjoying my my family and uh, that's the way I take it. Do you just when you know when you you get your injury? Do you concentrate on other parts of your body as well because you're doing so much rehab? Obviously, the the knee is the most important thing. But do you think to yourself, well, I could improve a little bit with my upper body strength or anything along those lines? Do you try and squeeze a little bit extra in along the way? Yeah, of course. I think uh, I want to improve on everything. Uh, upper body is. Uh, doing things uh, I usually don't do yoga maybe uh, uh, massages and all that stuff but I think everything to even my nutrition so uh -huh. uh, I think it's you know it's it's been good uh, to join uh, other things. How frustrating is it for a player to be injured when the football club appoints a new manager because uh, when a new manager comes in all the players are keen to impress him but when you're injured it must be doubly frustrating for you. Yeah of course I think uh, uh, when uh, you injure and a new manager comes, you know you it's like you give an advantage because uh, you can show yourself mm. uh, to be out there and, and, and show yourself uh, how, what you can do and all that. But I think uh, the manager knows every player and he knows what uh, players can give to to the team, to to every training, to to the club. So uh, I think uh, I, I've done. Uh, good in in the in the club. Uh, even in my first year, I think it was mm -hmm. the, the best one. So, uh, but I think I need to keep improving, and hopefully, when I come back, I, I I have to show him that I can be in the squad. How much of a help has it been for you to have players alongside you in the treatment room on a long-term basis? You, you're Seamus Coleman, Yannick Balassi, Ross Barkley, James McCarthy. Yeah, obviously, because I see him always in the gym, and you know, you're not alone in that in that in that case. You know, it's but it's it's not nice to see all the. The, my teammates to be injured, but you know it is what it is, and uh, I've been doing some training with uh, Seamus, and uh, so it's been good. So I have someone to to talk or to to be, you know, with someone uh, yeah. not alone. So it's, it's been good. It must be great for you, Ramiro, to see the likes of James McCarthy and Yannick Balassi, who you've shared a treatment room with for so long, now being a part of the first team frame again. Yeah, of course. I think it's very. Uh, I'm happy for them because you know, uh, you, when you suffer injuries, it's, it's very tough. Uh, you don't want to be injured, and but it's part of football. So uh, you know, always inspire me. Also inspire me to to come back and 
the way I see them, they, they look sharp, they, they look good, very fit. So, uh, you know, I'm very happy for, for them that, that they're back on the squad. Is the World Cup an even bigger motivation for you? Of course, I think uh, uh, as an international player, uh, uh, World Cup for, for everyone is, is a big uh, uh, impression. But uh, I think I have to recover well first. Mm -hmm. I think the timing is, is going to be good for to be very uh, good fit uh, for the World Cup. But uh, I'm thinking to, to be fit and then to play in the, my club and then World Cup. I don't want to go ahead to be yeah. fit and then think about my, the World Cup. But I have to play in order to, to go to the World Cup. If you do go to the World Cup, Argentina are going to play Iceland in the group stage. Have you and Gilfi had any banter about that? No, no, we spoke very, not, not, not much, but uh, I knew we, we were, Argentina going to play Iceland, so it's, it's a tough group. It's, uh, they're a very good team and uh, they've shown in, in, in the qualifiers that uh, they probably, as they always say, that they don't have big names, but I think as a squad, as a team, they, they're very strong, so and they've shown in the qualifiers. What's the expectation like back in Argentina for the World Cup? Who knows, are they expecting you to semi-finals, final, win the thing? What kind of expectation are you going to have to deal with? Yeah, of course, I think uh, Argentina have massive players. Uh, you have the best player, Messi, and uh, they, they have big expectation on the World Cup, but uh, it's going to be tough. Mm -hmm. uh, the groups is hard, all the groups are hard, and you have the best players in, in, in one team, and. Uh, so, uh, obviously, Argentina has big, big expectations. Slightly bigger expectations than us. <laughs> Let's hear now from an Everton legend who knows what it's like to score the winning goal against Liverpool in an FA Cup tie in a Merseyside derby. We were at Newcastle United before Christmas and I was delighted to catch up with Dave Watson. As soon as you went into place, it was a winning mentality about the club. Um, you know, f from training on the first day, it was, it was some sort of really tough tackles going in and I'm thinking, you know, hang on a minute, you know, because <laughs> back at Norwich it was take it easy because if we pick up any injuries, you know, we'll be short of numbers. Mm -hmm. But at Everton it was very competitive and um, people rare, rarely moaning when things weren't going right, trying to get the best out of each other. And it was great. And, it, you know, that sort of, I had a bit of that in me anyway, mm -hmm. uh, but it certainly brought a lot more of it out of me. You'd already lost in an FA Cup final. Then we've got Manchester United in 1995, which was a, a terrific performance, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. It had to be. It had to be a terrific performance. You know, if you if you play Manchester United in a cup final, one off, you've got it. You've got to perform. It's no okay. It's no um, no use sitting in the dressing room thinking, I hope I play well today. Mm. You you don't hope. You know, you're going to play well, and this is what you do. And and that was the mentality we had. Um, we heard so much about it. it. Was just a case of Manchester United turning up, which um, give us more motivation for the game. And, and we were ready for it. We had a, we had a team of, of hard working players um, and, and the right amount of ability in the team as well. We had a good mixture of that and, and that's what got us through on the day. But, but the, the mentality of winning the game um, was fantastic and the discipline the players kept for doing their jobs on the pitch in that, on that day was tremendous. Just finally, Dave, last question. You still look as if you could play. Do you still miss playing? Um, I don't miss playing. Um, I loved it. Um, I loved my career. Uh, I give everything I could, wholehearted performances, week in, week out. And I got to the stage, come 37, 36, 37, it was getting tough. And, you know, when there was really quick players about, I did struggle. And it became a bit of a stress situation, you know, dealing with it. Um, and, and the time was right. So, so when I packed in, um, it was something that I enjoyed, loved it, loved it as a career. But I couldn't have done any more. Um, so, you know, I, I've come out of the game, I've held my hands up and said, listen, I've, I've had a right good bash. I'm 30, 38, whatever it was when I packed in. Um, I've had a, a great career, being at a magnificent football club, you know, for 14, 15 years, whatever it was. Um, and loved every minute of it. The ups and downs, both, you know, it's all experience and, and I'm better for that. What an inspirational figure he was in the dressing room, Graham. You shared many a dressing room with, uh, with Dave Watson. Yeah, an imposing figure. I used to call him the Iron Man, Waggy, because I tell you, he used to go in the gym, and Funas will relate to this, on the treadmill. He used to be powering away on the treadmill. If he was doing weights, he'd lift the most weights. If he was on the punch bag, it was a competition between him and Big Dunk who could hit it, hit it <laughs> the hardest. But if there was an Iron Man trophy, 
Dave Watson wins it every day of the week. But terrific player, terrific captain, mm. led by example. And, you know, I'll never ever forget the day he went up and picked that FA Cup trophy up. I told you we'd get that one in, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> That's the message as we head into a short break here on this week's Everton Show. Coming up in part two, we'll hear plenty more from Diamond and from Funes. And, of course, we'll start to look ahead to the Merseyside derby. <laughs> Welcome back to part two of this week's Everton show. Diamond, we go to Anfield on the back of a couple of disappointing results, but by and large, it's been so much better. In the main, it's been a lot better. We've got ourselves out of a, a very, very difficult situation where we were looking over our shoulders and at times in that bottom three, mm. which none of us really want. We were very, very fearful after the Southampton game uh, in the manner of that defeat more than anything. And no one really ever saw the West Ham performance coming round the corner, so to, to turn that round and to win that game 4-0, Wayne gets his hat-trick, and then all of a sudden there's a little bit of confidence in the camp. Big Sam comes in and gets on the training ground and you're working on the defensive side of things, and we defensively, the solidity has been far better than it was in the early part of the season, and that has helped us to climb the table to be in a far more comfortable situation, but there's still a lot of work to be done. We've got to make sure that we're still aware that you know we're not the finished article, we're not you know, we're not safe by any stretch of the imagination, but we do have the capability within the squad to push us further up that league if we hit a run of form again. When the manager first joined Everton, Funes, he said the first thing we've got to do is stop conceding goals. And he was right, wasn't he? Yeah, I think, uh, uh, you know, first part of the season, I think we had a bad run, that's it. Uh, we have a really good quality of players and, you know, to be in the, in the bottom table, it, you know, it was not nice to, to see everything there, but. Uh, uh, we have good quality players to 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 be in even more higher in the table, but and they're sh we're showing it now. So uh, obviously, not conceding goal is, is very important because you that's where you build up your your confidence. And uh, I think it's you know it's now is is we a lot better, and I think we can uh, keep on progressing. How impressed have you been with the young players at the back, John Joe Kenny and Mason Holgate? Yeah, they have a uh, very good future, and uh, they they're showing it now. I think Mason well, he's been playing, you know, for uh, last year. So mm -hmm. I think John Joyce has been playing now. So mm -hmm. uh, I mean, they have really good quality players, not just them, and also uh, Davo, and uh, they've shown it that that they can play. They had to stand up and be counted, the boys at the back, and th and they've done so. They have, yeah. I mean, it's been a really difficult time, and. But you, that shows what your character's like as a player. You know, it's, it's all well and good. Everybody can play when things are going swimmingly and you're winning everybody. You know, every week everybody looks a million dollars. But when you're in adversity and you're losing and you're in, in a bit of a rut, then we see what the character of the player's like. And the lads have come through that, hopefully. Right, let's turn our attentions now to the FA Cup. It's the third round of the Emirates FA Cup. We play Liverpool at Anfield. This is Sam Allardyce's take on the Friday night game. From a, a selection point of view, we've probably got Looking at what happened on on the Manchester United game, uh, Michael Keane had to have five or six stitches in his foot, right on the top of the crown of his foot, which I think will be too dangerous to to risk him. Um, but everybody else that's in the squad, I think, is is okay, and um, uh, some rotation has been happening. Sadly for us, it hasn't produced the sort of points that we wanted, but. We have to accept that in this period, if you don't rotate, you can't keep the same time side. And, you know, and, and for me, I'd kept the same side building up to Christmas, which was doing doing a great job in getting results and points. But unfortunately, it wouldn't last. And I saw that most at Bournemouth, like you mean, where you know the fatigue kicked in, and we ended up losing in the in the final minutes because of that fatigue. So, what importance do you put on the FA Cup for the season? Well, I think now we're in the position, while, while the security of the Premier League is always the first priority, I think we're in the position where we, we go for it and uh, it's not a league game, it's, there's no points available, it's, it's win or bust, simple as that, it's a cup game, it's different to the Premier League, it's less pressure, um, it's a glory game and uh, you can you go out and seek the glory and try, and try and win it, if we're to get through we have to beat Liverpool, simple as that, so... Effectively, a draw is not good enough. Well, Liverpool can set a new unbeaten record against Everton, so does that come into the thinking as well? Not really, no. 
you know my my responsibility is trying to get this team winning and and the you know the players that you know even if they knew that statistic won't really make any difference to their mentality to go out and try and win anyway you don't need a statistic like that to want to go out and beat Liverpool well I just wonder if there's that burden of, of history again in this fixture um, How that affects the players I, I, I don't I don't think so I think they're professional enough today to to know what the size of the game is and, and make sure they try and deliver the best and that's what we've got to try and do Diamond, that was Big Sam speaking to the press ahead of the Merseyside derby and during that press conference he confirmed that a deal had been agreed to bring St Tosan to the football club. He wanted to bring a striker in and it, it has been needed, hasn't it? Oh, I think everybody at the football club recognises that we've needed a striker since Romelu left um, you know, and someone with a pedigree as well. Um, and I would never ever take anything away from what young Dominic's done. We've already touched on how good an impact these young players have made and it's given Dominic a great opportunity and a great platform to showcase himself and he's done it very well. Obviously Umar's chipped in as well with, mm -hmm. with a few goals as well but we've, we've really needed somebody over the line and it, you know with uh, Saint coming in now hopefully he can hit the ground running and we need somebody to score us goals. We've got to get up, up the pitch. We've to, by far and away sort of set, sorted out the defensive side of things now we've got to progress now. We've, now we've got to look after the ball better. We've got to start creating opportunities. But when we do that, you've got to have somebody to put the ball in the back of the net for you on a regular basis. He scored goals in Champions League ties as well, so he's got pedigree. Liverpool at Anfield, third round of the FA Cup. Missing out on games like this, is this the absolute worst part of being injured? Yeah, of course, I wish I can play one minute, <laughs> you know. But, you know, it is what it is. Uh, uh, miss those games, you know, the, the intensity on the people and uh, you know, those, those games really mark you good or bad. So, uh, you know, uh, hopefully, you know, it, it was we get a good win. We've already been to Anfield this season in the Premier League and etched out a 1-1 draw. How much of an impact will that game have on this one? Well, I'd like to think psychologically for the players. They've gone there and they, they've got themselves a point at Anfield in the, in the Premier League. This is a different kettle of fish to a degree because it's the FA Cup and it potentially is a one-off game. Form goes out the window in derbies, whether it be Premier League or FA Cup. So, you know, as much as we've lost a couple of games, you know, over the last few, that goes out the window Friday at 7.55 because we're going to have 8,000 people there, 8,000 blue shirts, and they're going to be right behind the team. And yes, of course, we've got to defend as, as resolutely as we did in the, in, in the Premier League game, but we've got to just do that little bit more on the ball. You know, we've got to look after it, we've got to be a bit, little bit better in possession and try and hurt Liverpool's back four because that's where their weakness is, the mm. back four and potentially the goalkeeper as well. What's the mood been like amongst the lads at the training ground this week, Funes? Well, it's, it's been good, you know, obviously I don't uh, spend time with them in the training but in the changing room looks good, you know, what, more, more motivation than playing a derby, mm. uh, I mean they, they have to enjoy it and enjoy themselves and enjoy the game and uh, you know, they're, they're going to play a big game, so, uh, you know, they, they look good. And if they needed any extra motivation, which I'm sure they don't, 8,000 away fans behind the goal, that's something, isn't it? Yeah, of course, I think the fans, uh, you know, they've shown since uh, since I, I've been in Everton, they, they've been everywhere, so, you know, also do it for them, you know, because uh, they go all the stadiums, away stadium, and uh, you can see their the passion. And, you know, it's, you know, to to be motivated by them also is, is very good. And you've kept in touch with the fans via social media, haven't you? Yeah, of course. I mean, uh, you know, since I've been in the club, you know, the, the fans, they've shown me uh, passion and, you know, I like that and a player feels that when mm. when when the people like, uh, lo uh, love a player. So, you know, I always like to be, you know, in contact or do, you know, uh, the things I do, so it's, it's good. You know what it's like to win at Anfield in a Merseyside derby, Graham. What would a positive result in the FA Cup third round do for the rest of the season? It could potentially kickstart again. We've okay, we've lost a few games um, over the last few, as I mentioned earlier. But a win at Anfield and a ticket into the fourth round of the FA Cup, it just lifts the whole football club again, lifts the players again, and then we dig into the Premier League and we push on and try and get as high as we possibly can. But honestly, you know and I know, Darren, and Funes knows as well. 
we beat Liverpool on Friday night and the place will <laughs> erupt and I'll, I'll, I'm leading from the front, trust me. <laughs> Every Evertonian's dry January will be suspended for <laughs> yeah. 24 hours, won't it? Yeah, certainly my mates, hopefully as well. <laughs> he, he, he loves a dry January snob, so I'd like that to bring him out of it if it could. <laughs> it's happened before, hasn't it? We've gone to Anfield and we've played Liverpool at Goodison, not been expected to win and turn them over. Yeah, of course, and why not? I mean, I'd, I'd, and I think this is where, you know, for the players as well, they've got to have positive thoughts in their head. Don't go out there and sit back and hope we don't get beat. Go out there and ask the question of Liverpool because they're not great at the back and the goalkeeper can be sus a suspect at times as mm. well. So go and exploit that if we can. Go and have a belief in yourself. Don't sit there and think you're not good enough to make it happen. Go and, go and showcase yourself. You're live on the television again. Go and show everybody what playing for Everton Football Club is all about. Will you be nervous watching it on the television? Yeah, I think I'm more nervous watching <laughs> in, uh, <laughs> true. in the TV yeah. than, than being there you know, really? in, in the stadium. Yeah. Uh, that's the way I feel, you know. Is that because you can have no impact whatsoever? Yeah, yeah, I think it's like that because not in the game and, you know, you feel nervous, you know, in the TV, but uh, I think the lads, will, they're going to do a good game and hopefully we get, the, we get the win. Let's hope so. It would be the perfect start to the calendar year of 2018. Thank you very much indeed to Graeme Stewart and to Ramiro Funes Mori. Thank you, as always, for watching. Do join us again next week for another Everton show. You've been watching The Everton Show on YouTube. Thank you very much indeed for joining us. I hope you've enjoyed it. I'm sure you have. Don't forget to subscribe and that way you can catch every single future episode.